Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel speaking and today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing scene using Blender. I've done this with the version 2.80. First of all, I've created the main part of the pyramid by using simple subdivided planes and a particle system. For the side walls, my particle system was set to hair and render as collection. Now all of the details come from the bricks, which are part of these collections. The color is either a light bluish gray or a dark bluish gray, which is defined by random object input. The cool thing about this workflow is that I can create more bricks and brick combinations afterwards, and the model will update as soon as I have assigned the new ones to the collection. After this, I have created the top of the building, which has exactly the ratio of my reference. For more lightning realism, I have added a 360 degree environment map. By adding a minifig to the top of the building, I have realized that the upper part was a little bit too low. Therefore, an additional row of bricks was added to it. The terrain was created by using the landscape plugin and a particle system afterwards. Two additional particle systems were added. To ensure no plants are placed in the wrong areas, I have used two different density maps, which were both painted in Blender as well. And I built some depth of field with the main building in focus. Substituted the environment image with a new one, which represents the main landscape color a little bit better than the older one did. Some more minifigs were added to get more life into the scene, and the background was added too. The sky is just plain, with a mixture of a bland and a noise texture. The hill in the background is just another generated landscape with some particle plants added. To increase the level of detail and for better blending between foreground and background, I have added some mist and did some basic color correction using Blender's compositor. I have adjusted the material of the bricks which are part of the landscape particle collection. Now the color is defined by each brick's that position and I have introduced three more colors to the landscape. Tan, light bluish gray and dark bluish gray. After realizing that there is still no foreground, I have added a small landscape patch and moved it close to the camera. Dark tan was added as a new color of the landscape particles to reduce the high contrast from brown to tan. To blend the main object a little bit better into the landscape, the wall's material was adjusted to have a slight brown and dark tan node at the lower levels. It should look like there is some dirt at the walls. And that's it. This was the last step to achieve the final result as shown at the very beginning. If you like this video, share it with your friends, give me a thumb up and feel free to ask further questions in the comments below. If you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. This making of was way too fast for you or you would like to get to know more? For more in-detail information make sure to check out some of these videos.